Hi guys, Rob Wilson here from Easy Marketer. It's a very exciting day today because today is the last training of the whole series that we've just had for the last couple of weeks uh, where I've been teaching you all about how to add adverts to your ebooks, how to edit your ebooks, and of course, this can be done with your own ebooks or any of the hundred plus ebooks that come preloaded with Educate. Now, today is all about how to monetize your ebooks, and I've created it all for you. Yep, we've got lead capture pages I've created for you, a download page, the contact list, and a full website for paid ebooks that you can either collect funds from PayPal, or even better still, you can redirect the payment page to one of your Educate Training Academies. Now that sounds a whole lot, so let's get right into it, and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it, whether you own Educate or not. So it doesn't matter if you are not an Educate owner, so long as you are an Easy Marketer owner, you'll be able to apply everything that I've created here for you. So, first things first. Here's a free download page. Okay, so this is where you can um, promote this page for your lead generation. You can be giving away the ebook that we've been working on the last couple of weeks, which is building great landing pages that convert. So your prospects enter their details here, right, to be able to get the free download. So that's a great lead gen. Now you can copy this and put any ebook in there. And you just go and change the details at the top. But this is a great, simple template. Change the header, change the details here, but image on the left and capture details on the right. And that can all be done with Easy Marketer. So let's have a look at Easy Marketer on our web builder. And we go over here to edit. Okay, so here is the page. And if we go here to the actual opt-in area, if you wanted to change any of that at all, if you didn't want their last name, you can remove that from here. Or if you want to add their phone number, you can go and do that there. But this has all been set up as a basic setup for you. And it's already created a contact list called Building Great Landing Pages. I always like to name my contact list something that's really applicable because over time you end up with literally hundreds of lists. So if you make it really applicable to what the product is, well then it's easy for you to remember what it what it actually is on there. I haven't set up any autoresponders to follow up to sell other things to it. You can do that yourself by going into the autoresponders. And we've built a thank you page here. Now, why do you need a thank you page? Well, when they opt in, instead of having to go an extra step and go and send the actual ebook to them i put a download link on the actual thank you page you can send a follow-up email as well and have the link in there too and that's given you another reason to actually contact that person and you could put some other links in there to other products that you have as well so let's have a look at the thank you page so we go up here to our pages so we're on the home page uh, now. Now we want to look at the thank you page. So we go here. Okay, and you can just go and duplicate this thank you page for any product that you want. If we go here, click to download. Okay, you can see here that the download goes to a link to my Amazon account. Now, if you're customizing the ebook, to have your contact details in it, to put adverts in there with your affiliate links and all the stuff that I've been teaching you the last two weeks, well then you'll want to upload your final ebook to something like your Amazon account or to a uh, Google Drive or a Dropbox or whatever and put that link in here and then just click Apply Changes. Okay, and then when someone comes into the thank you page, they'll be able to download it from there. If we go back here to our websites again. And we can see here the free one. Okay, there's the actual website code. So that's the share code. 
So that will be in the email that this video is attached to. And when you go to import this, so easy to do. You just go and grab the code at the end. We don't really need the web part because with our different products, we've got different share codes. So we put a different um, beginning on there so we know which share code it is. So we just go and grab that. Now come up here to the top right and then we go import website. So we go there, enter the code, import. Okay, now it's got a contact list in there. So here are all the details here. Do you want to use the existing contact list? Yes or no? Okay, so if you want to use the same details as what I had in there, right, you can do that, all right, and choose which contact list and so on. So here you could choose no and name it yourself. Okay, so in here, you would put your email address, your contact name and so forth on there. Okay, and then just click on go and it is all set up for you in your Easy Marketer account. Okay, let's get into part two. And part two is a actual paid site that can be redirected to your Educate account if you do have Educate, or you can collect the payment via PayPal if you don't have Educate. So here's a website that uh, explains all the details about what this actual ebook is, which is our building great landing pages that convert. So all of this has been built for you. So then we come down here and we can see here that we've got it on promotion, where instead of $17.95 for the next 24 hours, it's only $9.97. Now there's a couple of things that you want to do here to this add to cart page, and that's what I will show you right now. Now we need to go into our Easy Marketer account to our web builder. And now we log into that actual page. So here's the page with everything all done, all created for you. So we come down to the cart page. Okay, so here's our cart page. If I click on the image there, we can go over here to the payment. And if you're going to collect the payment just straight off this web page, well, then you go and enter either your PayPal or your crypto payment details in here. Okay. Now, if you have Educate, well, what I should say is if you don't have Educate, I strongly suggest that you do go and grab it because it's an absolutely awesome product. Now, if you do have it, well, what you can do is go over here to the image so that we're talking about this image here that we've selected. And you'll see here that I've actually linked the page to Educate. Oh, to a page called Educate. So what's that all about? So let's go to our pages and go to Educate. So I've created that page called Educate. Now, that page I created was a reminder for you. So as you can see here, you are nearly there. Just one more step and you'll be all set up. You have to change the link to go to your course in your Educate eLearning Academy where you have the course hosted. So here is how you do that. When we clicked on the image before and we could see Educate there, well, we need to put your link in here. Okay, do you see that? So what we'll do, let's go back to the home page and see where we need to put that link. So we come down to the image, the image for the payment, and now we need to enter the link in there. Now, what link do we add in there? It's the direct link to the course in your Educate. So now let's log into my Educate account. And I put it in my New Life Academy. So I now go over here to my Academy. I'm going to right click and open in a new tab because I want to go and find the actual course itself. So this is an Academy that I created. Uh, the great thing with Educate 
is that you can create as many academies as you want. So this is about new life, it's all about making money and health. So you can create as many as you want on whatever niches, whatever markets you want to create it on. So here is our um, ebook that was selling for $17.95 and is on promotion for $10. There's a little programming change that will be happening very, very soon. Is it's supposed to be $9.97, but it's dropping off the cents at the end, but it hasn't been programmed to use cents. It rounds it to a full dollar. So we're going to enhance this and you'll see an update announced very soon where you'll be able to use dollars and cents in your courses. So we can see here that we've got all our recently added courses that we've put in here, but we want to get this course. We want the link to this course. So if we click on that, here is that particular course. So what we learned last week is about how to make the uh, actual description really pop. So that looks just the same as the website, doesn't it? Now. If you don't have Educate already, you might be thinking, well, why would I have Educate for this for? Why don't I just go and use what you showed me just a moment ago with adding the payment link direct to either a crypto payment or to PayPal? Well, this is why. Because you can use Educate to collect the payment and that is synced direct to your PayPal account. But while they're here, they could be looking at all your other courses. So you are subtly upselling them to other courses as well. Okay, it's a great promo for your Educate Studio. So if we look up the top here, there's your link. So we grab that and we come back to Easy Marketer. And here is the link. We paste it. So we go Control V. Let's paste it in there. Okay. Now. What I'm actually going to do is that let's go and have a look at this website first and then we will come back and I'll upload it again with the link so you can see how that works. So if I go over here, there is our page and what happens if we go to buy? Okay, I haven't actually got the physical page linked to anything just yet. But if I come back here, and now I do have it linked. So now we're going to apply changes and we're going to come back to the website. No, we're not, we're gonna save first. Okay, it does have an auto save, but I'm just in the habit of always saving anyway. So save, come back to the website. Okay, here is the website. I'm going to upload it. So you just enter the details on here of what you want at the end. This is on my easymarketer.biz domain, and then you enter those details. I've already uploaded this previously, but I'm going to upload it again because I've got the link in behind the payment button now. So I want to demonstrate and show you how that works. Okay, so we're done. So let's have a look at the page. All right, here's our page. And we go and click on here and nothing happens. Oh, but we just uploaded it and had the link in there. Okay, sometimes that is because of the cache of your computer. So if that happens and you think, oh, it hasn't uploaded, just go and refresh your page. So I've refreshed my page now, and now you can see the hand sim symbol has come up, so it's now working as a link. So if we click on this, and now we can see it's come across to our Educate page. So the person can click up here to get started, to set up their account, add to the wish list, buy it now. And of course, they can see all of your other courses that you have in your academy. Now, last thing is how do we import this website? So if we come back over here, go back to the websites, and I'm going to come back and change this so it doesn't have my link in there. So then if you forget to make the change, which of course you're not going to, well, it won't go across to my link. So I'm going to come here, I'm gonna take this out. 
and I'm going to choose the educate page. And I'm going to apply changes. So a quick reminder again, what was the educate page? Well, if we go over here to our pages, so if someone can went and clicked on this, it's going to come up to this reminding you that you're going to have to go and add your link in there, which of course you're not going to forget anyway, are you? Mm -hmm. So let's save. Go back to our websites. And here is our share code, which is in the email that this video come with. So I'll grab that. Now on the right, we're going to import the website. And we'll see something different happen with this one compared with before with the landing page, with the opt-in on the landing page where you could use that as the lead capture. So we're going to import this. You can name it whatever you want. I would take this little bit off at the end, but I'm not. I'm going to leave that on there so that will remind me to delete this shortly. So click go. It's importing all of that now into the account. And here it is here. We can see that this hasn't been uploaded yet because there's no URL. So you can go in here to edit the site. Come down to when it's loaded, come down to the payment page and we can see here it's linked to educate. Well, you can add your link in here across to your educate or you can add your payment link in here for PayPal or for crypto. Now, did you see what was different this time compared with when we did the um, other page, the download page? This page doesn't have an opt in. That's why it wasn't asking the details about the contact list. OK, so that's how simple it is, guys. So I hope you've liked that. The couple of options that you've got here. If I can find where they are with so many tabs open here, we had the uh, landing page. We have the whole website built for you here. Let me bring up the landing page again. Back to our websites. Um, so here is your opt-in page for the free download. We went through teaching you how to do that and set up your download page and to remember to go and put it, your updated ebook uploaded somewhere, whether it's your Amazon account or your Google Drive or your Dropbox, whatever it is. So that was the first option we had there. And then the second one is a full on website where you can go and link that across to your educate. OK, hope you've learned something and you've enjoyed that. You can apply this exact principle across all the different eBooks that your Educate Studio comes fully loaded with over 100 training courses already in there for you. So guys, all the knowledge in the world is absolutely useless unless you take some action. So you've got the training now for this. Go and take some action and I look forward to hearing of more of your success. Thank you.